Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss with you one of the major concepts in lean manufacturing. It is called visual factory. Okay. Before discuss about the visual factory concept, it is very important to know about what is mean by visual factory. According to the definition, the term visual factory refers to an approach to lean manufacturing process based on visual information throughout the workplace. Everyone know visual is very powerful tool rather than depending on the verbal or any other communication. If we can communicate something visually, it will be more powerful. So according to this, all the data, information, we have to visualize on the manufacturing floor. So when we talk about the visual factory concept, we have to talk about, there is a very special subtopic under the visual factory. It is called visual pyramid. It is called visual pyramid. Now you can see the visual pyramid. Okay, there are mainly three elements in visual pyramid. The foundation level, five is. Everyone know about the 5S. 5S is very simple management concept introduced by Japanese. Okay, there are five terms. Seiri, sei, Seiton, Seiso, Seiketsu, and Shizuke. When we talk about the Seiri, that means segregate. Whatever the required thing and whatever the uh, unrequired thing, we have to segregate. Then Seiton means Required thing, we have to arrange in proper way. Say so mean frequently cleaning. Then say gets to mean the standardization. Then Shitsuke mean sustainable, sustainability. Okay. So when we do the 5S activities, when we implement the 5S concept, we can achieve workplace organizing and standardization. When the workplace organized, then what happened? The our searching time we can reduce. When the searching time reduced, it will definitely direct to the productivity improvement. So through the five ways, we can improve the productivity. Other than that, we can make a pleasant environment. It will support to release the employees is also. So when we want to make a visual factory, first thing we have to implement the 5S concept in our manufacturing flow. When we talk about the second element, it is visual display. Usually visual displays we use to share the information. When we consider the organization, there can be several visual displays. As example, maybe uh, buyer's code of contact, buyer's quality related information, okay, not only the buyer's related thing, when we go to the manufacturing floor, can be, there can be some mock-ups, standard procedures. Okay, there are a lot of visual displays. The important thing we have to understand, visual displays share information, but no any hard and fast rule Whoever the people working on the floor, based on their interest, they can uh, they can take the uh, information from visual display. As example, if some person want to uh, understand, know about the quality related information, that person can go through all the visual displays and that person can take only the quality related information. If anyone very interested to understand about the HR related matters, so he or she can report only the HR related visual displays. So I, I'm going to explain you. So visual display share the information, no any hard and fast rule. Whoever the person working on the environment, manufacturing environment, based on their interest, they can draft the information. But when we move to the visual control, what visual control do? Through the visual control, 
manufacturing organization can prevent defects and errors. Why and how can uh, prevent defects and errors? Because from the visual control, it will support to change the human's behavior. Before coming to the manufacturing environment, we can take some simple example on the road. We all know about the color lights. There are three lights, red for stop, green for go, and yellow for ready. So everyone know when the red light flashes on, okay, they apply the brakes on their vehicles because that red light change the human behavior. So likewise, in the manufacturing environment also, we have to implement some visual controls. It may be light, it may be black, anything. But when it is switch on, when it is uh, racing, the people behavior has to be changed. Okay. The, other than these three main elements, currently uh, we are talking about another concept also. It is called Hokayoke. That is Japanese word. The meaning of Hokayoke is mistake proofing. Shall we take some example? I think everyone know about the SIM card. Okay? Mobile SIM. In the mobile SIM, it is not square shape. The one side of the SIM, it is cutted. Okay? If you think why it is cutted, okay, you can find out the reasons why it cut? Because whoever the person used that mobile SIM, that person has to insert that mobile SIM into the phone without any issue. To create that easiness, create the, uh, reduce the mistake, okay? So because of that, that SIM, uh, give the, the people made the SIM given some specific SIM. When we talk about the auto gear vehicle, it can't start if it is it, it, it can start only if it is in a parking mode or neutral mode. So it is somewhat of mistake proofing. So we can understand if we want to prove some mistake, we should have given some mechanism on the operation manufacturing flow. That means employee can't do any mistake because of that. Uh, mechanism that can be attachment that can be separate machine part okay whatever the thing so those are called mistake proof so when i summarize that uh, visual pyramid concept there are mainly three element five s visual display visual control from the five s workplace organizing and the standardization happen through the visual displays we can share the information and by using the visual control, we can change the uh, people's behavior. And also there are some other concepts called Fokai OK. Fokai OK means mistake proofing. If we set up our organization by implementing five ways, by implementing a lot of visual displays and also implementing some considerable amount of visual controls, at least if we can give 10 to 20% of mistake proofing me related mechanism, then that factory we call visual factory. Okay. The special thing is when we enter into the visual factory, okay, factory start to speak. No need to people speak. So even if any third party person, separate person uh, come into the manufacturing environment, okay. He or she also understand what is the current status of this organization without discuss with any person working in the working environment. As an example, when we enter into the organization, the usually we have to come to the reception area. In the reception area, we can display our organization vision, mission, key objectives, then uh, this year plan, everything. Then whoever the person come into the reception, that person can go through all the visuals and can, uh, can take some rough understanding about the organization. When that person move into the operation, 
in the operation flow all the informations we can we can display visualize it may be efficiency related data it may be absenteeism related data it may be quality related data so everything visualize so without any uh, person's guidelines any person support the whoever the person enter into the operation flow that person can understand what is the goal what is the expectation what is the current status and what is the gap so that mean the factory talking not the people talking if the factory talk then we can tell okay your factory is 100% visual factory okay. there are a lot of benefits we can gain from the visual factory concept okay now you can see what are the benefits okay we'll go one by one the first one clear and simplified instruction in complex environment we all know manufacturing environment is very complex but if we can use some visual tools visual controls visual displays that complex within that complex environment we can share whatever the relevant data informations and everything without any issue when all the information data everything visualized the communication will be is speed up when the communication is speed up okay the parallelly when the communication is speed up all problems come into the surface because because everything visualized as example if there is a machine breakdown okay, there is a visual control the we have to switch on the red light if there is a quality related issues we can implement some visual control we can we can we have to switch on the uh, maybe orange light i'm telling the examples when we go to the target board in the particular operation area it's display what is the plan and what is the actual then in everyone can understand what is the gap that mean through the visual displays visual controls and whatever the visual mechanism problem problem coming to the surface when problem coming to the surface whoever the person has to give the solutions that person can't wait so that person has to give the solution as soon as possible that mean the quick solutions will be come to the problem uh, when the quick solutions come definitely there is a problem there are several problems maybe okay but the problems are going to surface then the responsible people has to give the quick solution then what will happen finally improve the productivity of the organization that mean finally visual factory also visual concepts also lead the productivity improvement other than that all uh, benefits okay it is the visual concept is one of the major tool in lean manufacturing and based on the visual manufacturing concept okay it will lead to the system driven cultures also rather than the human driven culture so that is very important benefit organization can gain so i think now you have some rough idea about the visual factory concept if i summarize all the things okay visual factory mean we have to give all the data and informations by visualize mechanism when we talk about the visual factory there is a very specific uh, sub topic visual pyramid in the visual pyramid there are mainly three element five ways visual displays and visual controls currently we are talking about the pokai okay also when we implement all the visual related concepts then that factory convert as a visual factory then factory start to talk rather than people uh, working in rather than talk the peak people working in the manufacturing area then there are a lot of benefits we can gain through the visual factory concepts okay already we have discussed the finally it will lead to convert the organization into the system driven organization
so i am expecting to come through another video uh, in soon future okay thank you very much for you uh, policing this uh, the concept i think you may have now rough idea about the visual factory concept thank you very much